Hey folks, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series figure review. We're looking at one that I've had for a couple of months now. Um, Mara Jade, uh, later known as Mara Jade Skywalker in the expanded, old expanded universe. And uh, just looking at the packaging, I, uh, I decided to hang on to it just for the for the purposes of review. But it is, it is quite a nice packaging. Um, interestingly, I don't think I ever realised that the Legends banner is down there. So, so yeah, this is uh, part of... Dark Force Rising, which is the second book in the Thrawn trilogy, it's with Mara Jade on the side there, picture of a figure of the figure on the back, which we're going to take a look at. And yeah, with the, uh, you know, that's that's pretty much where the packaging is is at its best is on the outside when it's closed. Inside image, quite cool. Um, yeah, we're severely missing the. Uh, the uh, window packaging, but uh, that's, that's quite a nice image there of Mara Jade. I think it's a very nice representation of the figure, um, and it does look, you know, pretty much spot on to, to what we're getting there. Um, yeah, it does have that silly tab, silly cardboard tab, which, yeah, not it's not ideal, but it is what it is, and uh, just some of the comic imagery on the sides. cool so yeah we're gonna take a look at the figure this is a good one I am really glad I picked this one up actually I just sort of put it off for a little bit uh, upon her release but yeah once I sort of saw a couple of reviews I decided to grab her um, and I'll do, I will show you the look I did as a counterpart so so yeah she does come with her Sort of magenta purple purple bladed lightsaber there's the hilt it's quite nice it's a nice easy slot in peg and that will hook onto her belt there which is cool that's nice and yeah that sort of sits on there quite nicely and in terms of the figure, I think most of it has uh, sort of been reused a couple of times. I think Jaina Solo used quite a bit of this figure. Um, there was Dr. Afra also used some of this, especially the, the sort of torso. It's got the ab crunch and then the sort of upper upper torso joint. So you do get some good range of movement. Um, there's her pistol, which I think is the same as the one that came with Jaina Solo. But it looks nice. Um, I do kind of wish they went with the with an option to have the sort of the head wrap sort of up over the over the head. That would have been cool. But as an accessory, I, I do like the look of the uh, the sort of goggles and that around the uh, neck. So this sort of extra um, strappy thing there. Which, not sure of its purpose, but it looks like it's. Utilitarian. <laughs> uh, she's got her gloves, which look good. Uh, very nicely posable. Very, very nice figure. She does look apart. Looks really good. Um, I know the, the Mara Jade that came out in the vintage collection, uh, three and three quarter inch. Black series, sorry. Didn't come out. Hasn't made it to the uh, jump to vintage yet. That was sort of a little bit, bit of a over-dramatization. The hair was very like 70s it was almost 80s hair it was very sort of full-on and this one's a lot nicer it's a sort of a simple simple sort of windswept look she's sort of just pushed it back off the face looks good a little bit of depth and weathering in the hair would have been nice but that's okay gets the point across For the, for the most part, our outfit's pretty simple. It's just black on black on black, which, you know, I'm not I'm not going to complain about that. That's basically how I dress daily, is <laughs> multiple blacks. But it looks nice. Like the sort of... The revealed arms. Let's see if we can zoom in on the face a little bit. And yeah, my camera doesn't like focusing, so. And 
there we go that's a bit better so yeah she's look she looks pretty good never been super crazy about the character but never never disliked her at all is having some trouble just standing on her own which is what I'm trying to do here she just says small feet <laughs> and there we go have her here so so basically took the, the look from the similar collection um, so the sort of comic book collection where he came with the sleeveless look and I gave him a uh, a belt from another figure uh, cut the holster off just made it a basic belt I like the idea of this is the heir to the Empire Luke I just decided he uh, you know he'd, he'd make a good counterpart to Mara Jade here they look good together a little bit of uh, expanded universe representation which is always nice yeah I think, I think both of these look great together so I'm just gonna have to hold her because she's yeah being a little bit stubborn for me I know as soon as I turn the camera off she won't move a, a, a bit but um yeah I think Luke with the belt there looks looks a bit better than just the uh, repainted Dagobah outfit which is which is what it is but you know with the belt you can hang his lightsaber hilt off there too and yeah you can sort of pose them up together they look good <laughs> His lightsaber's about to break, I think. <laughs> it's just knocked around in storage a couple of times. So I'll fix that up afterwards. It's not a big deal. I've got plenty of spare lightsabers for Luke. So there's Myra Jade from Dark Force Rising. Second chapter of the original Thrawn trilogy from 1991, I think. The first one came out. Maybe 92. I was way too young to know what was going on. But uh, yeah, obviously sort of taken visual cues from the comic book adaptation. So yeah, thanks very much for watching guys. I appreciate your time. Please sound out down below. Let me know what you think. Love to hear your thoughts. And uh, we'll see you again for another video soon. Till then, may the force be with you always.